Hello everyone, welcome to Squatera Warning Light. We're going to be showing you the Phoenix One and some of the capabilities, functionality, programming, as well as how to connect it to quad products. We already did a video of the unboxing. You can go along and check that out as well. Also check out our other videos. Uh, comment and like and uh, subscribe. So let's get into the video, uh, showing you some of the capabilities of the Phoenix One uh, controller. So you have here the Phoenix One controller. Uh, this has a touch screen. We'll be uh, turning it on shortly here and showing you that. Uh, it comes with three extra buttons. You can view messages sent over uh, Phoenix uh, Web Live Fleet. We have our pursuit slide switch here the different uh, uh, response patterns. Easily uh, throw it on. Uh, you can program it to turn on different uh, functions when you do that. So on the back of the controller you have your uh, controller uh, cable input. You have a very uh, easy spot to uh, connect your uh, programming wire here which is a regular uh, printer cable I'll show you that there so that just plugs right into the back of this unit unlike the 4200DL where you had to go into this spot here and stick the cable in on the 4200DL now on the Phoenix One it's a very simple install here so it looks like Phoenix really improved on that. Really happy to see that. Makes it easier to program. Has the uh, little speaker port down there. Uh, your different buttons. You can choose, I believe, between five or six colors. We'll show you that in the programming as well. Have your uh, warranty uh, sticker on there as well. mounting holes for your faceplate or your uh, bail mount bracket. So we have the cable here. This plugs directly into here. You can see the, there's no way you'll mix up which side is which. This would plug into the Phoenix One relay box which we have right here. We'll show you that in a minute. This is a smaller plug and this is a much larger plug as well it, it being white. So you can just slide that right in. You can slide that right in there and it snaps in place. So you've got that connected. This cable here plugs into the Phoenix One relay box. It says controller on the side there. That's where you would plug this cable into down here. Goes right in there, snaps right in place. You can hear it snap. So let's get this connected to our uh, computer here and show you some of the software. We'll just flip it over here and plug our cable right in there. Turn it back over again. Plug it directly into our laptop. You can see it says detecting uh, controller here. The controller will light up, show you that it is powered on, 
or connected there and you can see down here as well that it is connected as well. So we have a quad 400 stick has four quad modules and a light stick here. We're going to be connecting that to the Phoenix One to show you how to do that. The touch screen that comes on does not work when it is being, okay, that does work. Touch screen comes on, you can do things like uh, setting the screen brightness uh, that's the wrong one. Setting the screen brightness there. We have it at full brightness right now. You can set the button beep to whatever. Uh, no, that's the. I'm sorry, the button brightness there. You can. And the button volume at whatever you would like. And then you have your individual buttons here that you can program. You also have a system information uh, thing there. You can go down through and see your different uh, system information stuff. Uh, some of that isn't active because it's not connected. See there, the inbox is empty. There's no messages from the live fleet. So you can see here we have the uh, controller connected to our uh, computer uh, software. You can see it says device connected in the corner there. And we are uh, going to show you how to program it. Let's start with uh, button one right here. Tap that button. That uh, allows you to uh, edit it. Let's uh, put that as. Let's put that as code let's put that as rear flash it really doesn't matter what it is but let's put that as rear flash so we have that button selected um, you can choose the button color we'll choose uh, blue for that the button color will go to blue. You can tap active. You can choose the different uh, siren. Uh, whale, yelp, yelp fast, phaser, horn, mechanical, manual whale, high low, power call, power, power call slow, power call fast, horn phaser, horn yelp, phaser yelp, and test tone. You can also uh, do some audio too. Uh, ectotone, move out, cop song, pull over, step out of the vehicle, step out of the vehicle with your hands up, remain in vehicle, and remain in your vehicle with the window down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the quad. We're going to hit 400 light stick because that's what we have here. And it brings up your option uh, mode, click to choose. So we're going to open that up. You have tail and cruise signal flashing, cutoff, aero direction, turn signal, brake signal, flood and alleys. The uh, amazing thing about this uh, software is, is it will recognize what you have connected. All you do is you just punch in the information, connect it to the uh, quad inputs and you'll have your, you'll have your uh, quad products activated. So we'll go to brake signal here. I just wanted to uh, show the uh, you can actually select pattern on your brake signal. It brings up either a standard on or a brake pop. So that was something that was not on the quad products before is the ability to do the brake pop feature. Uh, gets extra attention visibility when you hit the brakes. It flashes about three times rather quickly. So we're going to go to flashing, we're going to select flashing, we're going to select our pattern, we're going to do uh, attack, attack pattern. Uh, then you click the light head to activate, so you can just go here, I'll select brightness yet, uh, 100%, then 
your colors come up you click the color to enable the color or touch it in this case we're just going to touch red red appears there you can actually uh, deselect um, different modules should you choose to want only the outside to be doing it we're going to select them all we're going to do red blue red red blue white uh, the red blue and white in the uh, attack mode then we go to here and we do program device and it says programming on the device screen as well as my computer screen it will beep to let you know that it is finished programming so let's do button 5 here uh, let's do another uh, 400 stick uh, flash pattern so you can kind of see a little bit what the options are We'll actually program button uh, 17 in the middle there in the touch screen. That brings up button 17 right there. We'll program that to be the uh, arrow pattern. Do the arrow direction. Uh, we'll do left slow. Brightness 100%. We'll do amber. We'll go to button 17, choose a button color, yellow, make sure that that's all good, then we'll go to the middle button button 18 we'll do select pattern we'll do center out slow traffic advisor we'll do 100% brightness and we'll do that then we'll go to that and we'll do the uh, arrow direction as well and we'll do right slow, select brightness 100%, and we'll do amber there. Oh, we forgot to uh, switch those buttons to amber. And now we have all our buttons at yellow there. And we're going to program our device there and uh, connect it. So once you're done programming it, you just pull the plug out. The computer will light up red on the corners showing that your device is disconnected. Let's get it connected and uh, hooked up to the quad. We have our Phoenix One Relay and Siren unit here. We're going to go to gonna flip it around to this side here. Here is where your power and ground come in for your siren and your controller. These are the inputs for your ignition input and so on. I believe you can switch them to positive or negative inputs. Then you have a 30 amp fuse in there as well. There's some heavy duty uh, leads coming out of here. Looks to be uh, more than sufficient. We're just going to plug that in down here. Makes a click so you can tell that it's secured. We're going to take our input cable, stick that in there. The yellow is uh, input A. And that is your that is your ignition input. So we'll put that to positive because we're just uh, testing it out here and showing you how it uh, connects and everything. We'll 
we'll get our power source connected here. You can see the controller booting up there with the uh, the blue dimming, the blue uh, button backlight dimming in and out. The touch screen should come on shortly here. Show you that is fully functional and ready to go. There we go, came on. So that uh, those buttons we programmed to the traffic advisor are on. We also have this blue button here. We have that beep. You can turn that totally off or you can turn it down as well. So there we go. It's a much softer uh, response, uh, much softer uh, feedback noise. So let's show you how to connect the quad products to the Phoenix One. So we have the uh, quad uh, output cable here. We're going to go to the side of the unit here, plug it into one of these ports right here, just snap it in place. We'll take our, we'll take one of the end leads here, bring it out. and connect it to the Phoenix Quad 400. The GPS module for the unit plugs right into this GPS port. We'll connect that. There's a typo there with the uh, vehicle information. Take your green wire and connect it, and you connect your white wire to your white wire. And we're going to run it out to the main power source. You connect those wires to power and ground, as well as the Phoenix One itself. The unit should be powered and ready to use. So we'll start by touching this button here. And you can see the left arrow is functional. We'll go to here and we'll punch that. That's your center out traffic advisor. Go to button 19 and that's your right arrow traffic advisor. Turn that off. We'll turn on our blue attack button here and you have red and blue and white then. Your traffic advisor function immediately overrides your uh, flash modes. system is showing the voltage now software version controller firmware you can see all of all of that on the screen here shows the uh, what it would consider the battery voltage to be at 
one volt. There is no uh, speakers running, so you can't see the amperage there. Otherwise, you'd be able to see the different uh, relay outputs as well. Could be informative if you were trying to troubleshoot a problem. So we have that flashing. Hit the traffic advisor button. That automatically goes to left traffic advisor. And your center out overrides your flashing modes. So that's how to wire up the Phoenix uh, the Phoenix One uh, controller. There is a lot of functionality in this device. There's a lot of capability and a lot of potential. The uh, capabilities of being able to run uh, two wires to your uh, quad products instead of multiple wires for each mode allows for a much simpler and easier wiring uh, installation for installers. It allows for uh, less time running wires and connecting wires. Also much easier to program. On the screen you have more button colors than the 4200 DL had. You have your different uh, speaker sounds you can program and of course it is uh, intelligent enough to know uh, which quad products you have connected. So very impressive. Um, also you can choose different uh, different multi-touch on the button. Um, if you double tap it twice you can actually have two different button functions. If you double tap it uh, three times you have three different button functions. If you double tap it four times you have uh, four different functions. You can also set a timer so it shuts off at a certain time. You can use it as a momentary and then of course you can choose your different button colors. Uh, once we have the OBD2 uh, vehicle specific uh, systems you can actually choose your vehicle there Tahoe, Durango, Explorer, F-150 or Charger. Um, you can uh, go right there input flag and you'll be able to choose from a whole host of vehicle options transmission reverse, transmission drive, odometer, uh, low beam, uh, the camera's kind of going out there. You can see there the different things um, that would allow for your uh, inputs. It, it will make so many more functions and capabilities available to the installer and the end user. There you have your relay uh, system. You can see the ignition is uh, set at uh, 12 volt uh, positive. You can change that to negative if you want a uh, negative input. Um, and then you can also use another seven different uh, inputs, positive or negative. So that allows another, uh, another amount of uh, capabilities and functions that was not previously available on the 4200. So you can choose uh, different outputs to be uh, activated by the button. That would be that would be these outputs on the controller. There is 32 different outputs as well. So all your quad products you are connecting to the unit do not even impact the outputs you have on the controller. The only way is if you would run out of buttons and with the uh, four tap button functionality there is so many options for other hidden modes you could add that maybe you wouldn't use as frequently but they would be available should you choose to use them. So we have our different uh, 
outputs there you can select and then of course you can select your quad uh, products so that it would recognize um, the different quad products. If you go to the end here you can change product that brings up all the different products, the different quad products here, your GPL, serial QSM which hopefully will be coming out before too long. You have your aero board, uh, front interior, rear interior, uh, rocker panels, fusion spoiler mounts, um, you have your light sticks. So you have your 32 different uh, out outputs there. So again, amazing functionality, uh, amazing capabilities, um, unbelievable uh, customization with the capabilities that you're going to be able to have with connecting quad products, uh, not, not needing to worry about uh, using inputs for the quad products, um, and of course the uh, multi-touch buttons, the extra touch screen buttons on the unit there. Um, the different uh, multiple modes you can uh, set up. Of course you have your pursuit switch here and uh, possible uh, troubleshooting help. Able to see what voltage is um, what the voltage is, um, the different uh, outputs, how much they're putting out. Um, changing your screen brightness right from the uh, touch screen, buttons and button volume. Um, of course with the Phoenix Live Fleet then you'll be able to view uh, dispatch messages from the uh, Phoenix Live Fleet uh, web manager. This product should be fairly easy to install. It's fairly straightforward. It should make a very clean installation with the uh, harnesses that are provided and you don't need to uh, purchase a siren. That's that's another uh, bonus with this unit. It has a siren with the uh, controller. Very impressive setup. And of course, the customization is endless. There's multiple things you can customize. The multi-touch buttons, like we talked about before. Touch screen. The two-wire uh, connection. All you have to do is make sure you're Quad products are connected to power and ground and then to the unit with the uh, two wire connection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have interest in purchasing the Phoenix One, please uh, visit our website, uh, purchase it from our uh, quad product pages on our website there. Also, check out our other quad products. The uh, Phoenix One is going to be a huge player in the industry with automation and the customization that is available for it. This unit will have multiple uses, not just for emergency vehicles, construction vehicles, construction equipment, and other units that need lighting and warning lights, the functionality and the capability is outstanding. So if you have interest in purchasing this product, please head over to our website and use the link uh, down in the description down below to purchase the Phoenix One. We have them in stock here at Swatera Warning Lights and we'll send them out uh, the same day you order them. Big shout out to Phoenix Industries in Austin, Texas for producing this product. It has tremendous potential to become the best controller in the industry by far. Thanks again for watching. Comment, leave a leave a leave a comment uh, down below. Um, check out the links in the description, and uh, please subscribe to our channel. If you have uh, interest in getting this product installed in your vehicle, feel free to contact us via our website contact page 
We'll be happy to uh, assist you in whatever way you need help.